everyone just pay attention be silent in the class so as and when we will have a combined lectures also very soon we will have a new time table as well because there will be some slight changes in the time table we will be having a one new teacher for the mathematics and for the physics right very soon you will come to know and uh, in the yesterday's class in the yesterday's class i had already told you about the syllabus for the chemistry which is going to come for the unit test right for both the divisions i had declared that the chapters will be only four chapters i will repeat those chapters once again right so that it will get recorded here on the video chapter number 1 some basics of chemistry chapter number 2 introduction to analytical chemistry chapter number 4 structure of atom and we have a chapter number 7 that is periodic table as i told you that i have kept one chapter in the option because i think that some of the part from that chapter is supposed to be covered right and which is not covered in the online that is the scientific notation right it will take almost 3 to 4 lectures to cover the scientific notation which is a very very important part i think right so in that case i am going to cover that at a very last when we finish our syllabus okay is that clear to all of you okay now open your notebooks and let's come to the yesterday's class what we had done in the yesterday's class okay so let's look at the summary what we had done in the yesterday's class so in the yesterday's class yes last benches maintain silence see it doesn't mean that you all are combined that means you will behave in the way you want yes stand outside stand outside what is the time it is almost 8:45 you cannot come according to your wish remember here the time is 8:30 sharp the time is 8:30 sharp today i was only late for 5 minutes because i had some work but in that case my lecture will sharply start by 8:30 if it is chemistry keep this in mind and after 10 minutes i am not going to allow any one of them consider this as the punishment for the day okay so in the yesterday's class we had learned about the different kind of the orbitals and their shape so i told you just that s orbital is a spherical in a shape right then we had seen p orbital p orbital is a dumbbell shape d orbital is a double dumbbell shape right and m orbital is a diffuse shape so we had learned the different different shape but out of this s p d and f what is the most important one s and p and d are the most important orbitals right f is also there but the shapes of the f orbitals we rarely use it okay but the mostly used shapes are s p and d out of that p and d has a lot of importance okay yes out so p orbital let's look at the p orbital we have a 2px 2py and 2pz i told you that there are three degenerative orbitals in the p orbital यानी कि p ऑर्बिटल के अंदर तीन डिजेनरेटिव ऑर्बिटल्स होते हैं राइट इन शॉर्ट आई कैन से दैट देयर आर थ्री बॉक्सेस प्रेजेंट इन दी d ऑर्बिट सॉरी p ऑर्बिटल देन इन d ऑर्बिटल वी हैव अ फाइव बॉक्सेस 1 2 3 एंड 4 राइट दैट इज dxy dy z dx z dx स्क्वायर माइनस y स्क्वायर एंड d Z square, right? So everyone should remember that this are the degenerative orbitals. This we will call what? The degenerative orbital. See, here P is the orbital. P is the orbital, but under this orbital we have the degenerative orbitals. Okay. Similarly, here D is the orbital, but under this D orbital we have a 
फाइव डीजेनरेटिव और वाइटल्स तो ये सबको याद होना चाहिए और इनका शेप भी याद होना चाहिए सी डी एक्स वाई डीवाई जेड डी एक्स एक्स जेड डी एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वाई स्क्वायर एंड डी जेड स्क्वायर ओके सो लेट्स ड्रॉ दी डी एक्स वाई डी एक्स वाई कैसा था सी एक्स राइट एंड वाई सो वट इज इट इट इज डी एक्स वाई शेप इज लाइक दिस राइट देन वी हैव अ डी वाई जेड सो वाई विल गो अपसाइड जेड विल बी लाइक दिस Again the shape will be like this, right? Then we have a dxz. See x and z. So this is the shape of a dxz. Then dx square minus y square. See dx square minus y square. So this will be y. This will be x, right? Both the lobes will be on the x. So it becomes the x square, and both the lobes are there on the y. So it becomes the y square. समझ में आ गया क्या? So both the lobes are falling on the x. That is why it becomes the dx square, and both the lobes are falling on the y. So it becomes the dy square. Okay. Similarly, we have dz square. Ka bhi dekha tha. Dz square. The shape is like this. This is z, and right. So this is our dz square. Similarly, we had also drawn the shapes of a 2px, 2py, and 2pz. Remember that this particular question in your exam may be asked, right? How the question may be asked? The question may be asked that draw the degenerative orbitals of a d orbital. Are you understanding? And this question can be asked for three marks in the exam. Right? Okay. Now let's come to the next point. That was the principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number, and spin quantum number. Okay. So in the last video, we had learned about the four types of a quantum number. Now I will ask you the question. That can anyone tell me what is the quantum number? Yes. What is the quantum number? Yes, quantum number tells you about the complete address of electron. Right? This is very very important. Yesterday I had explained you entire point with the example. Right? अगर हमको atom के अंदर ये पता करना है कि electron exactly कहाँ पे present है, then in that case we have to take the help of a Quantum numbers that are very very important. Okay, so let's draw one table and understand this. <coughs> Quickly draw the table. First one, principal quantum number. <coughs> principal quantum number. Right now, represented by small n. Represented by small n. Yes, second last bench. I should not hear any kind of a noise. Represented by n, and it was introduced by Niels Bohr. And the values are ranging from n is equals to one, two, three, four, and so on. Right? See, I am giving you the entire summary so that it will become very very easy for you all to. Study for the exam. Okay. Number two, azimuthal quantum number. Azimuthal quantum number is represented by L. Represented by L, and it was introduced by Summerfield. Summerfield, <coughs> and the value ranges from. See the value can be calculated by L is equals to n minus one. L is equals to n minus one, right? Yesterday you people might be remembering. I have a formula that I have told you all, right? L is equals to n minus one. So what is n here? What is n? N is the principal quantum number, right? So one minus this principal quantum number, you will get the azimuthal quantum number. समझ में आ गया? ओके नेक्स्ट 
थर्ड वन वॉज मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर सो मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय वॉट एम एल एंड हु डिस्कवर्ड इट आई विल सिंपली राइट द नेम आई विल नॉट डिस्क्राइब यस एंड द वैल्यू रेंजेस फ्रॉम एम इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस एल जीरो प्लस एल ओके सो यस्टरडे वी हेड सीन दिस देन लास्ट वन स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर ओके स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय एम एस आई राइट द नेम नॉट डिस्क्राइब Next value ranges from plus half to minus half. यानी कि अगर एक इलेक्ट्रॉन का वैल्यू प्लस हाफ होगा तो दूसरे इलेक्ट्रॉन का वैल्यू क्या होगा माइनस हाफ राइट और एक चीज लिख लो दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टेबल के अंदर डाल दो सी प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर टेल्स यू अबाउट वॉट शेल वेरी गुड प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम नंबर टेल्स यू अबाउट शेल एजोमिटल क्वांटम नंबर सब शेल देन मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर डी जनरेटिव और बाइटल्स राइट नंबर ऑफ डी जनरेटिव और बाइटल्स एंड स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स प्रेजेंट ओके टोटल नंबर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स देखो पूरा एक टेबल में आ गया हमारा क्वांटम नंबर सो क्विकली कॉपी इट डाउन सो दैट वी कैन मूव फर्दर एंड बेस्ड ऑन दिस क्वांटम नंबर आई एम गोइंग टू टेक वन प्रॉब्लम वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व वन प्रॉब्लम
Just write down the question first. An atom has two electron. An atom has two electron in its 4s orbital. In its 4s orbital. Then write the values. Then write the values of the four quantum number for each of them for each of them okay so what is each of them each of them means we have how many number of electrons we have two electrons right so two electron hai hamare yahan pass to dono ka humko kya likhna hai principal quantum number azimuthal azimuthal quantum number magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number so to solve this problem you have to first read the problem thoroughly okay right you have to break it and read it twice so that you can understand the problem properly so see here there is a one atom right in that atom we have a two electrons and the atom is where the atom is in the 4s orbital right so isme 4 kya ho gaya 4 is the principal quantum number that means the electron is where the electron is present in the fourth shell and shell is represented by n and n is nothing but the principal quantum number are you understanding it see electron kahan pe present hai fourth shell mein present hai right and we all know that the shell is represented by n right and what is n n is also called as the principal quantum number okay so here the principal quantum number will be equals to 4 right then where exactly the electron is present fourth shell mein s orbital mein present hai are you understanding so here azimuthal quantum number that means the sub shell sub shell here will be l is equals to azimuthal quantum number that will be l is equals to 0 right so the value of l will be equals to 0 abhi do maine calculate kiya मैग्नेटिक और स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर तुम लोग कैलकुलेट करोगे चलो शेल का और सबशेल का बता दिया कैलकुलेट दी मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर एंड फोर्थ वन स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर सी आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन यू द वैल्यूज फॉर मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर वो वैल्यूज देखो स्पिन क्वांटम नंबर का भी वैल्यू दिया है दोनों इलेक्ट्रॉन के लिए क्या होता है प्लस हाफ माइनस हाफ सो यू विल पुट इट इन टू अ टेबल ऐसा टेबल बनाओ प्रिंसिपल एज्यूमिटल मैग्नेटिक स्पिन ठीक है देन हमारे पास कितने इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हैं? वी हैव अ टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स, सो वन विल हैव अ अपवर्ड स्पिन, वन विल हैव अ डाउनवर्ड स्पिन। तो ये हो गया हमारा टेबल। अभी इसके अंदर हम लोगों को वैल्यूज लिखना है। अभी दो तो मैंने ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेट किया है। फर्स्ट वन क्या है? प्रिंसिपल क्वांटम Right? So there will be two electrons. Both the electrons will have the same principal quantum number. Right? Azimuthal quantum number ka bhi waisa hi hoga. Right? Why? Because both the electrons are present in the this subshell, S subshell. Okay? Abhi magnetic ka or spin ka calculate ka. Chalo.
टेबल दिया है ना मैग्नेटिक क्वांटम नंबर देखो उसको टेबल को रेफर करो एस और मेटल के लिए कौन सा वैल्यू क्या है टेबल का वट इज दी वैल्यू फॉर एस और मेटल यस वेरी गुड द वैल्यू ऑफ एस और मेटल एम एस इज इक्वल टू जीरो सॉरी एम एल इज इक्वल टू जीरो अगर एक इलेक्ट्रॉन का जीरो है तो दूसरे इलेक्ट्रॉन का भी जीरो ही होगा नाउ हियर वी कैन क्लियरली सी दैट द थ्री क्वांटम नंबर्स कैन बी सेम बट कैन द फोर्थ क्वांटम नंबर बी सेम नो बिकॉज वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन वन इलेक्ट्रॉन इज डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन तो वैल्यू क्या होगा प्लस आर So this is your problem is solved. See such a simple problem they are asking in the exam, right? Copy down this problem quickly. Chalo, table banana. Table banana sir. Just one more. I should see everyone is making the table. So the magnetic quantum number will be zero, and spin quantum number will be plus R and minus R. Okay. Quickly complete this. <laughs>